video was unprecedented levels of wind. We actually got Jack Black running. It sounded insane. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check that thing out. Right now we're just trying to button up a few things, look things over, make sure we're not overlooking anything super important. And then we might actually try to get this thing out on the road, put some miles on it so the EFI can do some learning, do a little bit of tuning, get the thing dialed in a little bit more. And then if we're lucky, we might actually try to make a quick pass on the street, see how the thing does, if it's like super stupid, if there's serious suspension issues we need to work out still, but man, this thing's already come so far. Right now he's putting in the vacuum line for the trans. The shocks we'll have to address at some point. We might just pull them out for now, because this one, both of the studs are broke off in there. Now for the time being, we can always tack weld it. Well, these are blowing the heck out. Oh. Yeah, these ones are shot. Did you undo these? Uh, I undid this oh. one. This stud's also broken. Well, now let's just take them out, throw the new ones in. If we can't get them, just tack weld, tack those. weld them in there. I'm good with it. Uh, we fixed the oil leak. That was just a leaking timing cover. Well, he fixed the oil leak. You had it fired up this morning, and oh yeah, obviously it's fine. We should try to find another radiator cap, because that thing wasn't holding pressure at all. We might have one laying around. Then aside from that, we're pretty damn close to test drive. Ooh, that might work. I'll climb up there and try and get it. So these shocks were given to me a while ago now by a subscriber. I believe his name was Matt. If that wasn't your name, I'm sorry. I'm really bad with names. So we're going to throw these on. He said he just never got around to using them and he was cleaning out his garage, so he gave them to me. Your plan is to just torch the shocks? Yeah, torch the top off. Like that fan wire right there. Change your name from Captain Inferno to Sergeant Killwires. Let's just go straight for the gusto. Shit, maybe I didn't get this one. Try the other one. Oh, that was good. Sorry. Alright. Yeah, this one needs it again. Funny thing is, they probably would have unbolted. Didn't even bother trying. I'll help. I think it just pops. Oh yeah, she's out. She's a goner. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last video, but we had to rewire the fuel pump using, uh, well, so we had one other issue. Uh, we had to rewire the fuel pump because for whatever reason, the keyed source that we had working for the fuel pump before, it wasn't working anymore, so we used the supplied uh, 12 volt fuel pump wire from the EFI, and it was working great. And then uh, at the end of the video, we just shut everything off, turned off all the lights, left, everything was perfect. Came back the next morning, no fuel pressure. Fuel pump wasn't kicking on, no 12 volt coming from it. We checked the keyed ignition source, that was fine. Everything was working as should, power was going into this relay, but for whatever reason it would not come out. And we tried another relay, I had those backwards, this is the stock one. And uh, for whatever reason, that just wasn't working, so right now we got it wired direct, just so it works. Not sure what's going on with those relays. Yeah, what he said. So, where'd I put that other shock? Right here. We're gonna throw these bad Johnnies in. Actually, they're classic Johnnies. So I wonder if it has a date on this box. That'd be kind of neat. Well, those were trash welds, but they'll hold them. Just 
long enough for us to get ambition to drill them out and tap them. Jack Black. Just gonna try and cruise it a little bit, see how it does. That's weird. Don't know why that is. quicker. I think that's just from that window. Alright, we'll see how she does on this turnaround. Maybe it'll want to stall out. We'll see what happens. I wish this, I don't know why the speedometer quit working. We didn't mess with the trans at all. Oh. It drove well, the engine seemed fine. There might be a real slight miss, but that could just be the uh, the open headers uh, making things feel kind of weird. Like 23 degrees out right now, and these cold ass tires, first gear was useless. When we turned onto the side road there, 
I was manually shifting it and I popped from first to third. <laughs> it definitely has a lot more power than it did. Whew, now it just needs some fine tuning. Looks like there's a little bit of a leak. Probably coming out of like that oil pressure line because it's at the back of the motor. Oh. The first drive went a whole lot better than I expected. It actually went really well. I think the trains is gonna need like some sort of shift kit or something and it's definitely gonna need like some sort of ratchet shifter if we wanna be any sort of competitive. Like the one time that I was able to, after I turned the camera off, I was able to actually go from first to second to third, get all of the gears and the thing felt really, really good. It's definitely got a whole lot more power than it did, but yeah. It's definitely gonna take some more tuning. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If that oil leak's not too bad, there's more to come. Uh, Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.